So, what was uh, your favorite memory in this park? Well, don't get me wrong, I had some great memories on the field, uh, breaking the, the touchdown record, the, the four catches for four touchdowns, but my, my greatest memory comes from when I run on the field, when I ran on the field and seeing those fans in, in the stands with my jersey on, screaming my name, I'm, I'm still looking for that high, you know, I can't find it with TSN, can't find it anywhere else, there, there's nothing else like it, and hopefully I can get it one more time this evening, that would be lovely, but, you know, that's the greatest memory for me, and it happened for me for 14 years, so uh, there's nothing in the world that can top that, you could give me a billion dollars and there's nothing else like seeing those Winnipeg Blue Bomber f uh, fans screaming my name and, and having my jersey on, so that's my greatest memory. What was your reaction when you first showed up here and saw this facility after spending a few uh, <laughs> Am I back in Little League? You know, it, 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 it was a little shocking knowing that you're playing professional football and uh, you're not dealing with the best facility. Uh, you know, I came from the Bengals, so it, it wasn't that bad. But it, it was still, you know, seeing the, the locker room and, and, and uh, the showers. I think we had two showers when I first got up here. And, I think I might have been sharing locker with three other guys, Shannon Garrett and Jerron Bowden. So I think we all share a locker. So uh, it's going to be a bittersweet thing. It's definitely long overdue, a new stadium. But, you know, my 14 years, my career was made in this stadium. My life was changed because of the things I was able to do in this stadium. So um, I'm for sure the fans are looking forward to it. The, the younger guys here, they're looking forward to it. It's unfortunate a guy like Doug Brown can't play one more year, get the opportunity to play in it. But, uh, you know, if they can go out on a winning note, you know, that, that'll bring everything, uh, you know, that'll put a cherry on top of the cake. What do you see in this team right now, Bill? Uh, I see some, 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 some grit, as I like to call it. You know, they're able to overcome some adversity. You look at that last game, and uh, I've been around some teams where their offense was struggling and the defense would really get frustrated. You see them complaining, but those guys can go out there and complain. I think they took, took it upon themselves to say, okay, we're going to go out there and, and continue playing hard and, and give our offense a chance, and that's what they did. And their offense finally came through at the end of the game. So if, if they can win the East, they're in the Great Cup. If they only have to play one play up, playoff game to get into the Grey Cup, they're in the Grey Cup. If they lose and Montreal is able to win these last two games and have to go to Montreal, it makes it a little bit tougher because you know how AC is when he gets in the big O and when he's heading to the Grey Cup. But if they win out or if they win and Montreal loses, they only have that one home playoff game, they're definitely in the Grey Cup, without a doubt. These so. guys have the talent to oh, play without a doubt. this year. They ha they ha I know some people are talking about their, their offense being suspect, but they, they have the talent. You know, uh, Buck Pierce, he's a, he's a veteran quarterback. They have some veteran guys on that offense. So when they get in that position, I'm for sure they're not going to squander that opportunity. There's not many, too many chances you get to win a Grey Cup or go to a Grey Cup. So when they get the opportunity, their defense is going to continue doing what they're doing, and their offense will, will definitely come through when they have to.